Okay, Queen Booker, how are you tonight? I got your request to explain as to why your mouse would not be working properly. So basically it doesn't matter if you have a Mac or a Windows computer, a mouse is a mouse and it's gonna run, you know, on any computer if it's USB port and the drivers support that operating system. So anyway, Basically, there's two types of mouses, right? Your problem, your problem is most likely because of this. Um, basically, there's two types of mouses, and I've got them both here for you to see. This is a laser mouse, which actually uses a laser sensor. I can't see it with the human eye, but you may be able to see it from this camera, as it'll copy the, may be able to see the actual laser. Now, the laser, if you can see, the more I pull it back, the light source is still the same strong light source, regardless of the distance. Which means that this, this will track on any surface pretty much. You can track it on, you know, reflective surface, it'll still do pretty well, because it's a laser. And this is on the right here, this is an optical mouse, okay? So, this, as you can see, I can clearly see this as well. It's a red light, it's basically a red light, that if I pull it away, the light source gets weaker. So, it's basically, the optical mouse is only suitable for a non-reflective sort of surface. Okay, so if you use this optical mouse, even on this lacquered timber here, you can easily see that the laser mouse performs just as well as it would on a non-reflective surface, pretty much. But if I put this optical mouse on, for instance, this desk, since this desk is lacquered a bit, this optical mouse starts to sort of glitch a bit. So, basically the difference is, is that, yeah, if you're having problems with your mouse, it's most likely it's an optical mouse. And what you want to do is you want to get a non-reflective sort of uh, surface for your mouse to work on. This is an actual custom gaming mouse pad. And yeah, as you, as you can tell, it's non-reflective. And it works really well. Both mouses work exactly the same, like they work really well on this mouse pad. However, this mouse is more versatile. So if you were traveling and you were, you know, you didn't have a mouse pad with you, I'd recommend getting a laser mouse as opposed to an optical mouse. But laser mouses at the same time are also generally more expensive because they're using the laser. So generally that's just in a nutshell what is happening here is basically you're using probably, I'm guessing you've probably got one of these mouses that's an optical mouse and you're probably just using it on a, a reflective surface and it's causing you problems. So basically if you get a, you can either do two things, you can either get a new mouse pad that's not reflective or you can get a laser mouse. So it's up to you. So these are this is the laser mouse, this is the infrared or optical sort of optical sensored mouse. So they're both really good and when I use them on this mouse pad they both perform really well. So but if I use them again if I say if I use this on the reflective surface this will perform a lot better. So anyway I hope this has helped you out tonight and if you got any questions let me know and I'll be sure to comment as soon as I can. And if you guys got any other requests you want me to do and want me to look into, I'll be glad to help you. So anyway guys, peace out for now. Bye.